in the beginning of the year, I attended a three-day church retreat. I had recently gone through a rough spot in my life and before the retreat I went to therapy and for those of you who have gone to therapy know that you have to fill out a survey and mine was just very very negative on this three-day church retreat we went into deep adoration on a Saturday on that Saturday I forgave everyone who had hurt me in the past and felt at peace again on Sunday we did the Eucharist adoration again after Mass when I got on my knees to pray Something told me to look up and I saw an image on the Eucharist. An image of a, a shadow going back and forth. When I got home, I drew the image and showed it to my two best friends. It was this image. It was a shadow going side to side. My friends believed. Then I showed it to the group who I went on the retreat with. And they all believed. But one student came forward to testify that they saw the same image as me and that person who said the truth, that truth was sitting in front of me when I was kneeling during adoration. He said that it felt like a lightning bolt go through him and that he saw the Christ going back and forth as me, just like I did. The following week, I went back to therapy to tell my therapist that I no longer felt pain, that I was free. Think about this therapist she was surprised because it takes about six to eight weeks to heal. But for me, it took three days. Three days to get healed. Recently, about Three months ago, I went through loneliness, depression, and suicidal thoughts. It got so bad that my friends had to come and check up on me. I was living in a house by myself. I was fine. In school, in work, I went back full time. I ended up leaving my job because of COVID. My school, I started taking a domestic violence course.
that triggered my whole childhood trauma. I would wake up during that time at four o'clock in the morning crying. Crying. I was fighting something because when my friends would come over they would say as me you don't look okay at all and I told them I'm not I'm not When I got out of that class, I ended something with someone that was important to me. I realized that I was not myself anymore. And that person didn't deserve any of that. So I let them go. suicidal thoughts got so bad that I had to bring my mother up here when she got here she felt something attacking her spiritually through her heart so she said that we had to bless the house and so we blessed it for her, it felt calm, but for me, I had to put on a fight. So I began to pray the Holy Rosary for 40 days. As I was fighting something. When the 40 days ended, during that whole period, I started to take pictures of the sky and noticed a little dot that I did my research and discovered that it's called a spiritual orb. We all have it. It appears when you point at the sun. One day, I went outside and I took a picture of my guitar and I located a spirit orb. And I saw the same image that I saw on the Eucharist, except in that image, if you zoom in, you will see a shadow and a cross and the spiritual orb. That was the first image. The second image, I went outside for my walk. And as I took a picture of the sun, you can see when you zoom in, the guardian angel. I went down the neighborhood to walk some more. The next thing you're gonna see is a spirit orb, a pink and blue tullet. That's the Virgin Mary and that's Jesus. That same night, my mom came upon a YouTube video that I was not intended to see. 
in this YouTube video, it was a girl who drew and her parents were both atheists. She drew out heaven and how Jesus looked like. When that second picture of Jesus came out, I got on my knees and started to cry. And I told my mom that that was Jesus. And everything from my memory came back to the point where I saw my grandmother in heaven. In a dream, it was an all white room. The ancestors are in the back. I recognized two ancestors due to family photos. And then I was walking in a white like hallway and sat on a bench that was white with Jesus. I asked him some questions and I was gone. But what I did realize was that there was somebody else there in my family who was still alive today. And when I posted it on social media, it was my cousin Armando. And he said, cuz, that was me. You were hugging grandma. And I was there to see it. We were both there. The next dream that came was when I was in the operation room and I got out of my body and in the ceiling, I saw Jesus, my grandmother, and my dog that had recently passed away. But this next one, that same night, God spoke through me and his voice is like in the mountains. <laughs> he was not happy. He said that my soul was being attacked by a demon. And if it wasn't for my mother, they would have lost me. And I was just surprised. And then he went on to say that I was in a good standing with him, but my friends were not. So I went one by one and I had one friend. And I asked about this friend and he said that this person is not worshiping him. And then he asked me, where do you think they go? And I cried even harder. And I told my mom, mom, I don't do something or try. So I went on to my siblings and he went. Then I went on to my sister-in-law and he went silent. I asked him, what is it that I could do? And he said, use my talent. So I said, okay. But he did also say that even if I share my testimonies and show people these images, people are still not going to believe. And then he was gone. That same night, I had a dream where I had met with my priest. And when I got out of my car, he approached me and said, hello, Esme. And I said, how do you know my name? 
and I cried and I woke up <laughs> the next dream in this dream my mother was putting holy water in my back and I felt flames and I mean flames that are burning your flesh. Flames you do not want to touch. And I woke up with so much fear that my mother had to calm me down. <laughs> Once I woke up from that dream, I told my mom, mom, I don't know what's inside of me, a demon, but I have to see the priest. And when I saw the priest, he prayed over me and I was at peace again. The fourth image, you will find the Virgin Mary And in the fifth image is God. And I'm telling you guys this now that the Lord is not happy. Everything that's going on in the world. It's not good. good at all he is there and he is real and he's watching everything that we do pray pray in the morning pray before a big meal pray at night count your blessings follow the commandments he left for Moses Go back to church, forget the hypocrites and the judgments. Forget all of that. For you are only there to seek the Lord. To only seek him. And you and forgive. You have to forgive. Because if you don't, he won't forgive you. Share this testimony, this video, with the believers and all non-believers. But like I said, like what God told me, even if I share my testimony, and show people these images, there are still going to be people who don't believe. But if you know me as a friend or a family member, you know I'm the last one to talk about faith or religion or to brush it down somebody. That's not me and I tell the truth. So share this video. God bless you guys. Be safe.